let's go hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is melody and as you can see today i am joined by two wonderful people and i'm so excited guys because you're not ready for what is coming okay i can promise you that and so i'm going to let them introduce themselves so i'll start with the one on my left please tell us your name and where you're from thank you my name is simba yeah i'm from zimbabwe all right thank you simba and on my right we have tino my friends call me tino tender but if you are not logged in just call me tino peace okay great before we start our conversation i just wanted to bring up an icebreaker question you understand i mean you don't know about the question I'm, I'm about to ask you because i didn't tell you prior so yeah anyway the question is would you rather have an independent educated wife who is bad in bed or would you rather have a wife who is like good in bed but uneducated and probably dumb so i'm gonna start with uh simba i mean in my mind i'm thinking like why can't i have an educated girl <laughs> that is good in bed i mean they exist <laughs> yeah i know i know they exist but it's yeah. would you rather type of thing i mean oh my god a girl who's bad in bed it's just bad a dumb girl it's just bad i think i'll be single <laughs> No, you have to choose one. They are both not my type. Okay, so in this case, we know that none of them is your type, but you have to go with one. Like you are being forced to go with one. I will choose um, an educated girl because like I will handle the sex department, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I will make it good. So yeah, it's hard to turn a dumb person smart, but you know, at least when it comes to sex, like I can teach you some. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Interesting answer. Do you know what um, about you? Hey, they both not my type. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. But if a gun is on my end, I have to go with the intelligent one. Why? Because if she is dumb, everything is not going to work. She's going to have a terrible sense of humor. <laughs> She's, the conversations are not going to be going anywhere, mm -hmm. even though the sex is good. But, but if she's intelligent, you know, you got the good sense of humor you got the smartness in bed since she's intelligent she can learn you know? <laughs> but this dumb she can learn okay so, you gotta go with the intelligent one oh, okay okay so the intelligent one for both of you so the first question i want to ask is what exactly do men look for in a partner not the superficial things and stuff but like what exactly do you guys want and what are some of the things that you know maybe a girl who is listening to this can start working on to find a future husband to you know you go first well that's a subjective question because what we want is different yeah but all i'm gonna say is you know we all want ladies who are good we have good hygiene okay. so first things first you know just be clean take a shower wear clean clothes you know just look clean when you look clean smell good you know and 
I would add on and say, you know, this is my personal one. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. like be ambitious. You know, I okay. like I like a girl that you know have your own drive, have your own goals. Don't just exist to exist. Mm -hmm. Just you're there. You know, so, <laughs> so <breathing and laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So yeah, that's my personal, but you know, but yeah, hygienic, you know, and I, you know, I think my brother over there is going to tell you more. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The brother. Yeah. I would say, uh, obviously it's like a subjective question because every guy got their own type of girls so they are looking for different things in it but i'll say uh if i have to summarize it it will be beauty character and she has to be able to satisfy your needs okay so okay. for beauty personally i've never had a guy who sees an ugly girl and be like damn she is ugly i need her never had that true so yeah everyone wants a pretty girl but it's not just about prettiness she has to have like a good strong character in it so when it comes to characteristics of the character that's some subjective stuff for him uh he said he likes a girl's ambitious okay mm -hmm. that's like one of the characters so yeah, she has to have like good characteristics for you okay and then uh she has to meet your needs every guy got their own needs okay so i'm sure every guy will be happy to have a girl who satisfies his needs okay, okay. and then everybody's needs are different too mm -hmm. you know yeah so that's what i'm going to say Oh, okay okay thank you very much okay the thing is though um, when we are asking you to we want to hear about you so and as much as it is obviously subjective you can go deeper into your personal needs or wants you know what i'm saying understood we we'll feel you yeah okay okay cool so the next question is how long does it take for a man you know like when you are dating someone some people they take long than expected some people they take months some people weeks some people even on the first date i don't know how they do it but some people years so how do you know that you want to be with someone long term or to eventually settle with them how long does it take you and how do you know that yeah this is it i'll start with simba okay uh i would say there's no answer for how long will it take i cannot put a time period on it i cannot say two weeks because some people uh they fall in love on site for some people it will take them a year yeah. yeah some people you find yourself in love and you don't even know that you've fallen into it you realize it later maybe when True. the girl is gone you'll be like damn i actually love that girl but i didn't know so it's like it's very subjective you know but how do i know if i love a girl personally it's a um, it's a feeling so it's not like something logical. So yeah, when I feel that feeling, I know. I know when I feel it. Okay. If you're asking like, how long does it take for me to feel that feeling? I honestly don't know. Okay. But I know when I feel it. Okay. So yeah. So the feeling that you are talking about, like how does it feel like? <laughs> like, can you at least describe like that feeling because can i have this because sometimes you can say okay you love someone and then you feel something <clears throat> and then for some couples you see a few months down the line they hate each other like crazy 
you understand so like for you can you at least describe that feeling at least i mean for me mm -hmm. it would be a feeling that i want to i want to do more things in life with you you know that's the thing though it's like i want to i want to have more memories with you like for example if i thinking of going somewhere be the first person that i think of like okay i'm going to go with this girl okay if i want to if there's anything it's like you're the first person on my mind everything i just want to do with you and uh yeah i just want to i don't want to lose you basically okay. yeah okay okay great answer thank you now to know tell us how long and how do you know i think he, he explained it best you know <laughs> yeah like there is no time frame there is no he, time frame so even if my boyfriend takes like three years yes he doesn't know yeah let me explain <laughs> to you why three years might be justified okay thank because, you because uh it all depends on the situation let's say for example Mm -hmm. this girl a and guy b uh they are about to work on something but they are all busy mm -hmm. they all have maybe some job to do or businesses to run yeah so they don't link up more often they don't talk more often because they are busy okay so they have time constraints you know mm -hmm. so they are trying by all means to communicate mm -hmm. but because they don't have much time yeah they are communicating it a lot they will take more time but if you have more time mm -hmm. to link up and communicate, yeah. so that feeling and that time frame can be shorter. Okay. So, yeah. So mm -hmm. basically, there is no time frame that you can stand on like, okay, it's one week. Or it's there's no, nah, there's no time that is too short or too long, basically. Uh, something like that. Okay. Yeah. So, okay so for you how do you know how do i know mm -hmm. well i know <laughs> <laughs> when i start to let's say consider you in certain situations and aspects of my life you know because i usually consider only myself i have self-love so <laughs> so when i start putting you in the mix yeah. without even you knowing it or knowing it doesn't matter mm. but when i start to consider you and i'll be like sometimes i'm, I'm not even it happens uh unconsciously, unconsciously. yeah okay. i don't even plan on including you but yeah. i end up like oh i just you know that's how i know or like okay. we just met a a footprint on the boy's heart on the men's heart you know <laughs> <laughs> but don't get it twisted you're okay. still a gangster <laughs> okay oh great so what uh, are some of the red flags that you can see in a girl and say ah nah you know not this one red flags yes for me um i'm sorry to say this but i'm not sorry I don't like girls who smoke. So if I see her smoking, that's it. Then I don't like girls who are not smart. Uh, if if a girl can't like think logically, like what she's saying or doing, like doesn't make sense. It like I don't know. I don't like I just don't like it when that happens. So that's a red flag to me. Yeah, a girl who's entitled. I don't like girls with like too much entitlement on them. Okay, because it uh, ruins my f pleasure of doing things for. Because me personally, I like doing things for a girl because I want to. You know what I'm saying? I would enjoy uh, surprising a girl with things and all that. But if a girl is like demanding stuff from me, 
that is that will just ruin it you know what i'm saying so yeah those are some of my reflex okay okay thank you so mr tino tell us my red flags mm -hmm. okay my red flags are something like self-respect you know if a girl doesn't have self-respect on yourself like what does that mean <laughs> <laughs> where are you going okay. you know because yeah. if you can respect yourself mm -hmm. how can you respect someone else Mm, you know, understand. so, you yeah. know, self-respect is super important, you know, mm. being able to think for your own, okay. you know, don't go along with the flow, you know, have your own mind mm. in doing things. Don't be like, why were, why were you doing this? Ah, because everyone did it. Everyone was. No, it's you. Be your own person. Be your own self. Be your own boss. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So and i'll also say um and not owning up to you know to whatever situation happened whatever happened own up to that shit, to that situation you know because it's if you can own up to whatever you have done or to whatever that happened that will create a, a domino effect of some negative things you know because if you can own up you gotta have to lie after you have to lie you gotta have trust issues other the trust issues now it's a domino effect so okay that's just a you know a summary of my red flags okay cool let's move on to the next question yeah i've had many guys complain about hating being in the friend zone yeah so can you please explain to <laughs> explain to us like if you're a guy how do you get out of the friend zone you know you go first fix your communication you got communication issues so fix your communication you know stand on business because you know if you approach a girl saying let's be friends what do you expect you are now a friend <laughs> <laughs> so moving on from there it's gonna be difficult for you so go straight to the point and also work on your game i don't know what game you use Pe people have different games shout out to you but work on it and go play it that's all i can advise <laughs> to a person who is in a friend zone me personally i'm not <laughs> so, <laughs> so never there yeah so this thing is to avoid it completely mm -hmm. from the jump what uh brody said perfectly correct you need to work on those things but me i'm going to give you something to think about okay what is the difference between you a guy who's in the friend zone and the guy who's not in the friend zone, okay? The difference is that he's crashing and you're not. True. So, to get out of the friend zone, you have to crash. It's that simple. How do you crash? We need to figure that out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. okay interesting answer but the thing is though not everyone here will believe in that you talked you you talked about um crushing the gear right but what about people who have a strong belief that they are not supposed to do that and do it after marriage and then they have like the celibacy principles what are they supposed to do yeah to get out of the friends at that point i would say work on your communication and you have to just shoot your shot like for real just shoot it okay. 
yeah just we had to change our position if you have noticed but yeah we are going to just continue so the next question i was about to ask was what are some of the mistakes that guys make when they really like a girl yes so tino is gonna go first and then simba you will tell us something i think i've said it before maybe yeah i think i've said it before working on your communication skills in high school they taught us com skills that was an important subject you don't know about that but okay they should work on their com skills like you know because it goes back to our previous topic when you approach a girl and telling her that you want to be friends but oh but you want something else that's where you get stuck in the friend zone and now you have to go through all that process you see so if you just go stand on business you know yeah. tell you what you feel tell you what you you know what you um, you're hoping to get or whatever right and work on your game you know i cannot emphasize much on this because i know everyone believe that is the best shooter it's okay to have self-confidence but sometimes you have to sit down and reflect that you were shooting but not even one shot yet so basically what are you shooting for so go back sit down be humble work on your game i think that's what i can tell you right now those two mm -hmm. things if they are just those ones yeah i think many shots will end yeah. then we can start from there okay okay, <laughs> okay. Simba. um the other mistake that they do notice i say the other because what he said is true yeah. so the other mistake is that before even like they can work on their game like he said mm. or do their communication most guys are just scared to do it scared true yeah um, so they will see a girl that they like and then they do nothing so they like from afar yeah it's like they admire from afar so i think that's the mistake that they do just shoot it true i think it's because they are scared of rejection now you don't die have you ever went to a funeral where they said he died because they rejected you <laughs> you don't die. plus it's not even that deep mm. yeah okay plus you see this is the other like oxymoron about it mm. it's because if you're scared of rejection you're gonna shoot your your shot like with shaky hands mm. that will cause you to miss still mm. Mm. you see so yeah don't be scared just shoot it mm. the rule is simple you miss 100 percent of the that's shots that you don't take that's true so just take it just take it. you never know what happens you know yeah because you might take it and she's feeling you it's a win it's a win a win is a win mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah i feel like that's like the biggest mistake that guys don't do yeah most guys they're like they just watch from afar they're like damn she was fine mm. so yeah just okay. take the shot okay wow well, thank you for your answers So, you know, we try to keep this video as short as possible, but, you know, but if you keep following and subscribing on the next videos, you'll get more tips. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Stay up this way. Stay up this way. Stay up this way. Stay up this way. Are you my okay, friend? Thank you very Are we much. Long? <laughs> you stay up this way. Stay up the way. And stay up this way. <laughs> Exactly. Dun, 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 dun. Guys, they don't like us. Yeah. They don't like us. They don't like us. Yeah, for real, for real. Yeah, five, five is. Let's start shooting for real. Yeah, start shooting.